Anyway, for today, uh, I figured I'd review uh, my latest fountain pen purchase uh, in the style of my fountain pen hero. That is uh, SBRE Brown, uh, Dr. Brown on the internet, who is my uh, my pen reviewer of of choice. What did I say? During the mean whilst. During the mean whilst. No, no, no. Like that well, hello, it's, uh, it's Dexter and me, and uh, complete departure. A complete departure for this, uh, this video today. Now, um, I've had, you know, a good few hobbies over the years, and some of them have lasted, some of them haven't. Photography, obviously, is one that's lasted a while, and uh, my, my other long-lasting hobby is... Um, is well, collecting and writing with fountain pens. Um, I started writing as a small child in school uh, with, you know, with the council issue uh, fountain pen. So we always had like ink all over our fingers and pr pretty well, pretty well everywhere else for that matter. Um, but when other people started writing with, you know, biros or, you know, rollerballs or whatever, I carried on, I carried on with my fountain pen throughout my uh, secondary school years and then into into college and into uh, lastly into employment now uh, I feel that the fountain pen is is the perfect it is the perfect writing instrument I mean uh, I got the proud distinction of uh, never failing uh, since my school days uh, an exam so all the professional examinations I took uh, I passed first time and for each and every one of those and for each and every exam before that uh, I decided to use uh, use a fountain pen. Now um, the reason being that uh, if they run out, you just you know you just refill them and that's it. So you know there's more room on your desk for for your lucky gonk, you know, and your mints and uh, and all that all that malarkey. It was terrible. I sat in the big hall and put my packet of polos on the desk and my spare pencil and my support gonk and my chewing gum <laughs> and my extra pen and my extra polos and my lucky gonk and my pencil sharpener shaped like a cream cracker <laughs> and three more gonks with a packet of polos each and lead for my retractable pencil and my retractable pencil <laughs> and spare lead for my retractable pencil <laughs> and uh, chewing gum and pencils and pens and more gonks and the guy said stop writing please um, but I stuck with fountain pens then uh, into my into my working life and I was always the one in meetings with you know ink all over my fingers as the, the pen kind of like kind of like exploded <laughs> and um, my um, my weapon of choice through my through my work years was my Parker my Parker 45 uh, flighter uh, and I think it, I'll, I'll dig it out hang on a second down here. Uh, there you go my Parker 45 uh, flight a delightful delightful fountain pen that saw me all the way through my my work in life um and i've always collected pens i i've got a massive well, i say massive i've got a sizable collection of uh of fountain pens all shapes all well not all sizes but all kind of like colors and you know budgets or whatever uh, and i re really do one day want to own like a statement you know a statement fountain pen one like about you know i don't know you know, a good few hundred quid's worth in value. Anyway, for today, uh, I figured I'd review uh, my latest fountain pen purchase uh, in the style of my fountain pen hero. That is uh, SBRE Brown, uh, Dr. Brown on the internet, who is my uh, my pen reviewer of of choice. He's the one who I choose to watch, and I enjoy watching. I enjoy watching his reviews uh, immensely. Uh, he's a, a funny... A funny chap as well. I think he's a, a Dutch fella, uh, now living and working in Canada as a uh, as a as a college lecturer. Um, anyway, yeah, and as a side hustle, he reviews fountain pens. And uh, when he decided to come out with his own design of pen, uh, I figured, well, who better to design a pen than a pen user and enthusiast? And um, he announced uh, earlier this year a limited edition run of pens and i got one uh this is my sbre brown 
um, well, to give it its full name, it's the Officina Italiana Memento Zero SBRE Brown Limited Edition. And it's, uh, it is a beauty. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, review the pen in the style of uh, Dr. Brown. So I will uh, show you the parts of the pen. I will do a quick writing sample and then I will tell you what I, what I like and what I don't like about uh, the SBRE Brown limited edition pen. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at the parts of the um, Officina Italiano Leonardo Memento Zero SBRE Brown pen. Uh, and here it is next to a Lamy uh, Safari, quite a common uh, fountain pen for size comparison. As you can see, it's around about the same length, but a tad, uh, a tad more girthy. Right, the uh, cap uh, is topped with a dome-shaped finial, uh, leading down to rather a springy, very strong clip with a fun little uh, wheel on it there for uh, sliding it in and out of your chosen storage a uh, medium. Um, the uh, cap is finished off with these three rather lovely uh, metallic silver rings and I like to see this on a um, an acrylic pen because it can help the acrylic uh, or stop the acrylic from uh, cracking uh, there. Uh, the cap uh, unscrews in one and a half turns to reveal a uh, section finished in the same material as the, the pen which I always like to see um, and uh, the section unscrews to reveal a Leonardo branded uh, ink converter but it also accepts uh, standard international cartridges I believe. Uh, the pen comes uh, equipped or mine has come equipped with a stainless steel fine number six nib uh, fed with a plastic feed. The uh, pen is a really attractive, really attractive uh, finish. As I said, it's a custom, uh, custom acrylic, uh, lovely brown finish with these flashes of uh, like uh, gold or bronze in it. And the barrel then tapers down uh, to another, uh, let me this, to another cap. Uh, which reveals the end of the uh, converter so you can refill your pen without unscrewing the barrel uh, from the section and it gives it a kind of a nice uh, upmarket or upmarket feel I think than just the normal sort of um, uh, normal blind cap or no cap at all. Um, again it's protected with a metallic ring and is finished with another dome shaped uh, base to the pen. Uh, mine is uh, marked with the SBRE Brown uh, logo which is not painted on it's engraved into the finish and mine is uh, pen number 25 out of 100 so quite a nice quite a nice little number that uh, quarter of the way through the pens run and I believe they are now uh, sold out I, I certainly can't see them listed on the Apple Boom website uh, any longer so I would imagine they are now sold out right then those are the parts of the pen. Let's do a writing sample. Okay, so writing with the Officina Italiana Momento Zero SBRE Brown Limited Edition pen. I've got the uh, fine nib in stainless steel and uh, the ink is the matching SBRE brown, uh, well, brown, brown ink. <laughs> and this paper is uh, Rhodia, as you can see from there. Right then. The pen is a very smooth writer. Surprisingly so, given the fine uh, grade of the nib, uh, fine nibs can uh, sometimes be very, very scratchy, but uh, this one is fine. Some fast writing.
the feed uh, keeps up uh, keeps up really well with that wetness. Uh, not a gusher, uh, but it's a nicely a nicely tuned nib, and you can of course make it uh, make it wetter if you wish by uh, spreading these tines a little bit. But I'm I'm not going to do that. Uh, line variation. Uh, it's not a flex nib. It's not advertised as a flex nib, uh, and I wouldn't want to push this uh, at all, to be honest. To try and get any sort of line variation out of. Uh, out of my handwriting to be honest uh it's just it's uh, quite a firm quite a firm nib i think there is a a flex nib uh option uh, available if you uh, went to go down that route right then reverse writing so you've got a a small form there to fill in turns the nib from a fine into an extra fine and uh, it's not too scratchy and it keeps going and going and going so you could uh, fill in the smallest of forms there we are that is the officina italiana memento zero sbre brown limited edition Right, so what do I like, what do I not like about the uh, SBRE Brown Limited Edition pen? Well, let's start with the dislikes first. Um, there aren't any, not with the pen itself. Uh, the, the only criticism I had is that it arrived in a bit in this packaging, which is uh, overkill. It has an outer sleeve leading to an inner sleeve <laughs> leading to the box that the pen came in uh where you've got your like pen bed and the uh, your official guarantee thing um in these days of uh you know um fewer and fewer uh resources being available to us um i think it's a little bit of overkill um to um ship a pen in all this packaging well, well given that it came to me here in the uk via Apple Boom Pennon in the Netherlands uh, from Italy. <laughs> um, perhaps I'm grateful for the uh, for the uh, rather comprehensive, shall we say, uh, packaging. But add in, you know, the outer packaging to this, and we're looking at, you know, four layers, four or five layers before you even get to the pen. That's the only criticism I got because as a pen, it is it is first class. It's the perfect size for a fountain pen. Uh, not too big, not too small. If you want a larger pen, you can post it, and you've got a quite. Another painful focus on that. No, probably won't. It's grabbing my eye. There we are. You've got quite a a sizable, quite a sizable fountain pen. Um, great nib choice. Um, great manufacture. The the actual acrylic used is a lovely, lovely finish. It's been um, manufactured or designed and manufactured with care, I would say. Uh, there are a lot of features on here that you would find in much, much more expensive pens. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for this. When they were advertised, I think they were something like 220 euros. Um, but I can't. I honestly cannot remember what I paid for the pen. And I tried to dig the receipt out and I can't find it anywhere. But it was around about the... The 200 euro mark so whatever that is in pounds i've, I've no idea or dollars i don't know um for, for what it is uh it is a magnificent little pen you've got you know uh, a lovely um acrylic finish you've got the sbre brown uh, logo again i will try to show you that see if it will try and hide my face from the camera see if it will focus on that there we go the lovely sbre brown logo uh, and this delightful uh, brown, smoky, gold brown finish. It writes perfectly. Uh, it's a limited edition, so in all likelihood, um, it's not going to depreciate in value that much. Uh, in fact, I think they are now all sold out anyway. There were only 100 of this type, and then I think 50 of a larger, more um, luxurious pen with a gold nib and a piston filler. 
um, manufactured so only 150 pens in total which is a, a tiny tiny run for a fountain pen and uh, yeah I'm really glad really glad I've got one so um, there we are there it is the uh, Officina Italiana Italiana Officino Italiano Officina Italiano Memento Zero SBR E Brown limited edition fountain pen and I'll gladly see you later Bye!